Welcome back to another episode of Shenanigai Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Let's go ahead and see what Nightheart wanted from us. Hello, Schwarzer. Have you finished assisting the student council? Yes, sir. We managed to take care of our most pressing tasks. By the way, I was under the impression that you'd be returning to the military. Was there a change of plans? I resolved my military business in record time. I got back not too long ago, in fact. You're saying you've already come and gone? You must be exhausted. Exhausted doesn't begin to cover it. To make matters worse, Instructor Thomas roped me into drinking with him last night. I hardly managed to get any shut-eye. Though maybe I should be telling you, or maybe I shouldn't be telling you about this. <laughs> I was about to say. But he went out with Instructor Thomas even after all of that. I never would have expected him to be so friendly. Moving on, Instructor Valestine told me about your swimming lessons. It seems as though the men of Class 7 suffered a truly humiliating defeat. I can't really think of one. Arsaid and Klossel, Schwarzer. I'm referring to Arsaid and Klossel. If what Instructor Valestine told me holds true, those two swam circles around all you men. Or maybe I should say boys. Men of the Empire would not stand for this. For the sake of masculinity the world over, please tell me you have at least felt a twinge of frustration. Well, I mean, a twinge, sure. Then there may be hope for you yet. Listen well, Schwarzer. If you've got the time and the guts, I'd be willing to teach you men, or teach you how men swim. I'm going to need to clar you to clarify that. <laughs> Swimming is more about knowing how to breathe and use your body than it is your body itself. Us army men undergo training in order to learn how to swim quickly and efficiently. No wasted movements, no wasted breaths. And I would be willing to pass this all on to you in order to keep you from being shown up by those two girls again. Seriously? I'm always serious. If you've got the stones, gather up Class 7's men and I'll teach you all at once. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Make your choice. Alright, hmm. Yeah, sure, let's go swimming. If you're willing to teach us, I'm not going to waste this opportunity. Now there's an answer. Gather up the other men and meet me in the gymnasium. Quest Swimming Lessons started. So, why are we here again? Instructor Nighthour wants to teach us how to swim as effectively as possible. In that case, we owe him our gratitude. Confuddlefication. I still don't get why we need to assemble so quickly just for some swimming lessons. If it's such a pressing issue for you, I can't imagine any of us would mind if you left us and went back to the dorm. It's not an issue. It's an observation, you smarmy little... <laughs> <clears throat> right then, let us begin. We'll begin with warm-ups, done in accordance with the Manway Method. The Manway Method? Did you just make that up? The name's not important. The method, on the other hand, is... You'll be racing each other one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing gets a man motivated like some sweaty competition. Now, Schwarzer, you don't... Why don't we start with you since you decide to pipe up about the name? Pick your first opponent. Yes, Instructor. Um... I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. So whoever you choose, it increases your link uh, EXP with them. So since everybody's at level 5 already, it really doesn't matter who we choose. But let's go with Usus. How about a race, Usus? Anytime. At least against you, I won't have to hold back. Yeah. On your marks, get set, go!
Press E or right mouse when the two circles overlap. Doing this repeatedly will increase your speed. Ah, uh, come on, I want to do better than good. Well, I still won. Haha, <laughs> in your face, Usus. I wasn't expecting you to best me. Don't expect things will go the same way next time. Well, I'm not exactly planning on losing. Are you here to chit chat or are you here to swim? Get back here at once. Understood. Yes, instructor. Link level five. The manway method warm-ups continued in this fashion, and in the end, everybody had raced everyone without a single break. Phew. Four races in a row really takes its toll on you. You're telling me I'm exhausted. Yeah, I think we're about done for the day. I'm ready for a nap. I knew swimming could be tiring, but I didn't know it could get this bad. That should do it for our warm-ups, correct? I would appreciate it if we could get to the meat of the le of these lessons. <laughs> How naive. Uh, sorry, I think I might have missed her. You're all naive, every last one of you. You boys think you're ready to learn anything after a wimpy little warm-up like that? Oh, we still have a long way to go. Which leads us to our next exercise of the day. Limit breakers. I'm not the only one panicking about the word break being in that name, am I? What are those exactly? There's no such thing as a dumb question, Regnants, but that one came awfully close. As the name would suggest... <laughs> <laughs> but that one came awfully close, he says. Oh man, okay. As the name would suggest, this exercise has you swimming to, then through, the limits of your endurance. Now, I know that what you're thinking, Oh no, instructor, this is a surefire way to drown. Don't do this to us. But don't worry. I'll give you 30 whole seconds to rest for every length of the pool you swim. Is he serious? That didn't sound like a joke to me. Maybe this is how they do it in the army? It seems as though each of you has expended all your reserves of energy by now. I'm honestly surprised that none of us are dead yet. Was there any point to all of this? Heh, <laughs> you still doubt me? I suggest checking how long your last times were. I'm sure you'll find yourselves impressed. Everyone checked their final times, just as Instructor Nightheart had suggested. No way. It felt like it took us hours to get across the pool. Hmm, what exactly happened here? Once you reach your limit, your body dedicates all of its energy to swimming, not wasting an ounce on anything else. This is the method I told you about. Keep swimming like this and you'll be able to cut down your times even further. So this is why you pushed this so far. There was a method to your madness all along. That's right. Snide comments aside, you all performed very well. You might want to use those to recover for your training though. Use these to recover from your training mill. Received, received five Tyrol bombs. Thank you. That's all for today. But this isn't the end. You'd better keep training so those girls don't show you up again. Uh, of course. Thank you for taking the time to coach us. Quest. Swimming lessons completed. Alright. And that leaves us with only one task. To complete and that my friends would be the infamous old schoolhouse we shall go over there yeah interact at the door the front doors are locked something has changed inside the old schoolhouse every month so far no reason to believe this month will be any different we're gonna need to be ready for anything so, what to do now? Should I start investigating? Yes. After you finish exploring your old schoolhouse, the time of day will advance to evening. 
As a result, all daytime bonding events and quests will expire. Use the old schoolhouse key. All right, time to get everyone together. Now, fun little thing here. Let's see. We'll go with Laura, B, Gaius, Eusis, and Machius. Yes! Not today. Right, got it. Doesn't seem like I'll be able to invite both Laura and Fee to go with me this time. Oh well, let's choose again. Ah, see, we cannot choose Laura and Fee at the same time. We have to choose differently. Ah, uh, so let's go. Reen, Laura, Gaius, Machius, Emma, and sure, let's take Elisa. Let's have a look at the elevator panel first. I'm betting we'll be able to go down to the fourth floor now. Are you talking about those rules you proposed last month? I don't know how it's possible, but I have a weird feeling your theory is probably right. But we should see for ourselves. Right. Time to get this month's investigation started. Yeah! Investigation! It's elementary, my dear doctor. Er... No, that's wrong. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Oops. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty embarrassed by that. Um, uh, I think we should just uh, go ahead and end this episode right here on, on that note. Uh, I will see you all in the next video. Just kidding. Looks like the next light slid up. Guess that means the fourth floor is open now. So, your hypothesis was right after all. Yeah, let's head on down. I'm ready. I'm ready too. To the fourth floor. And the elevator drops. Old schoolhouse. Fourth floor. This wind. What's up, guys? The wind in here feels like it did in the ancient quarry in the Nord Highlands. I suspect the higher elements may be at work here. Exclamations! You think there's some connection between here and the ancient quarry? Interesting. Well, let's be extra careful in here, okay? I'm betting the monsters will be even stronger than what we've dealt with on previous floors, too. Stay on your guard, everyone. Understood. Alright. Let us go forth. It's time to begin our investigation. Yes, it is, guys. Very astute of you. Right. So, find some monsters around here. Ha! The advantage is ours. Here we go. Let's see. Items. So, we'll have to use two battle scopes. Ha! Hino... Hino Mikoto. Hino Mikoto. Hino Mikoto. A beast with boiling hot blood. Dive? Defied? Dive? Dave? Dave? Defied? What? Defied by some? Defied by some? That's weird. Charges foes with its burning horns and uses fire arts. Leave it to me. Uh, you two link, uh, and you're gonna use a battle scope on that thing. Take this. Mad weed, a mysterious plant said to bloom in the abyss, produces a miasma that lowers foes' vitality significantly. Right. Huh. Yeah. Leave it to me. Good job. Yeah, good Here job. Go. Yeah. It's my turn. There. My turn. Huh? I think my we turn. need to uh, check their equipment, make sure they're right. Let's keep moving. using the most uh, powerful weapons they have. Equipment. Nope, they are not. 
Gaius is because he was in our party party potty pot oh my goodness uh Emma was in our party she was in our party he was not Eusis was he was not all right that should be everyone then um yes so we will go this way first Already got that one, so we don't need to scope it out. I don't have any uh, particular theories to talk about this time. Um, as we get farther into the games, I may have some more, but I really don't want to like nice spoil anything. At least not at this part. The advantage is ours. Triple advantage. Here we go. Oops. Item. Battle scope. Ha. Pit Cerberus. A plant-like monster that roams the darkness blows a deadly miasma that instantly takes away foe's vision. Right. Hey. Ooh, she almost right. took it out in one hit. Impressive. Leave it to me. Eat that. Ooh. My turn. It's gonna be overkill. Okay, it's safe for now. All right, so we'll go up this way. Oh, that's a beautiful scanned. looking treasure chest. Already scanned one of those, so we don't need to worry about that guy. Already scanned one of those. Ah! Right! Hey! Hey! Huh! Huh! Ta! Hey! Ta! Wow! Huh! Huh! Hey! 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 Huh! We'll take the last one too. Ha! Just cause. It's my turn. Leave it to me. Here we go! All for a lowly chest of Sepeth. Well, we really do not need because we have a lot of Sepeth. On to the next one. Looks like we've still got a ways to go. Yes, yes it does, doesn't it? Let's see here. So we don't need to scan that one. Um, yes, we will go down and to the right first. We've already scanned both of these types. Seems to be a treasure chest here. Yes, yes, there does. Oh, oh wow. that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Let's see, up. What does this do? Drops those? Yes, yes, it does. Okay, so we want to go around this way. Oh, not what I meant to do. Go. All right. Can we get all of them? Uh, let's just use a... Oh, no. Her S-Craft can't... Oh, no, it can get all of them. Okay. Whew. I was worried for a second there. The might of the Arsade School. Radiant Blade Dance. We should keep going. Yeah. The, um, I will say though, found ground bait. You need that for fishing, ground bait. Um, I will say though that the plot is finally starting to pick up momentum. Most of this first game is really just setting up for the later games. Like, this entire first game is pretty much just setting up a story. Um, 
so I mean there is that to keep in mind but you do there is a slightly oh what a nice looking treasure chest there, there is a um bring it on climactic point to we this one as well Azure flames gather on my blade and we're finally starting to build up to it. Of course. All right. There is um. Leave it to me. Quite a bit to do with um. It's previous games. That's going to be kind of going on in the background. My turn. But you don't have to worry too much about that because it does get explained. It takes My a little turn. while to get it all explained properly, but um, it's my turn. They don't leave you out hanging. Like, There's no time to waste. Kind of the whole thing was, of course, they want you to play the earlier games, but because they are older games, um, they also wanted to make it so people could just jump straight in with the um, Trails of Cold Steel arc and get a general idea of at least of what was going on in the other areas at the time. Oh, it looks like we finally made it to the end. Which is also part of why I wanted to start with these games because they kind of give you a general idea of everything that's happening in the previous games, which will kind of allow us to focus a little bit more on the other story points in the previous games. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. No, this is familiar looking. Don't let it intimidate you! Go! Let's see. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna battle scope? They're all the same. Ha! Seraphic Gate, a glistening floor guardian, unleashes rays of light and lowers foes' mobility with a cursed roar. My turn. Huh. Oh wow! It's my turn. These things might actually be kind of tough. <laughs> oh! It's my turn. Huh. My turn. Fool! Fool! Stand down. Oh, nice! Yeah. Oh no! Huh. Ah, that's very it's bad. We need to fix that immediately. Um, I think she's in a confused state, so we'll try a sedative. You have my thanks. Yeah. Go. It's my turn. Ah, he's got a critical. We'll take advantage of that. Go! Here! My turn. You know, I'm starting to think that these guys are probably... Would take more damage from arts right. than they do physical attacks. Take this! Thank you. Ha! Oh yeah, definitely take more damage from Arcs. Arcus, activate! Ha! Ooh. So, Machias' art is going to get wasted, though. Leave it to me. It's fine. It's fine. Arcus, activate. <laughs> Take this. Tip. 
My turn. Oh no. Okay, we'll have him use an uh craft. Burn to ash. My turn. Oh wow. She has like no Alright, uh we'll give her an EP charge. Oh no, now my case is confused. Um We're gonna give Reen an EP charge as well. We'll use right. Gaius to put a sedative on Machias. Take this. Appreciate it. <laughs> My turn. Sit. Right. Arcus, activate. Right. Uh... Here we go. Arcus, activate. Oh, no, you don't. Huh. Nice. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Ha! See how much damage this does. Ooh, good amount of damage. Laura's is gonna be complete overkill for this thing, though. Oh, nope. This is gonna be wasted. <laughs> I'm sorry, Laura. Oh, it does hit the other one. Nice. I didn't think it was close enough to get hit by it. Heck yeah. We should keep going. Ugh, everyone all right? Yeah, mostly. Those were more formidable than anything we've fought here so far. It's looking more and more like the hypothesis I came up with is right on the money. It feels like someone or something is testing us. At least that's the impression I get. Unsettling, but undeniably accurate. The question is, who or what would try to test us like this? We don't have enough information right now to make a guess. But if we keep on pushing deeper into these runes, maybe we'll find something that... Exclamations! What just happened? I'd say it probably came from somewhere in this building. This... Hasn't happened before, has it? I think we should head up for now and assess the situation. Let's head back to the elevator room. Dots. The exploration party's bonds have been strengthened. Level up. Elise and guys reached link level four. Warp stone. Back to the fourth floor entrance, please. And back to the elevator. What? What is that mysterious ticking noise? It's kind of catchy. A red door? I'm certain this wasn't here before. Yeah, I doubt we could possibly have overlooked something this obvious. I wonder if the appearance of this door is what caused that tremor earlier. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Nothing seems totally impossible in here. Either way, we should have a closer look. You're right. 
Maybe it'll give us a clue that'll lead to some answers about this place. Rena and the others began investigating the mysterious red door. Though they searched the surrounding area thoroughly, they could find no sign of a keyhole or any other unlocking mechanism. As a last resort, they even tried brute force, assailing it with their weapons to force it open. However, in the end... The way is shut. It's no good. The thing's not gonna budge. I can't believe my sword won't so much as scratch it. Doesn't look like my horrible staff or arts are gonna have any effect on it either. Yeah, I get the impression that it's made out of some material we can't even manufacture today. I think it's safe to say that destroying it isn't an option. If you listen, you can hear the sounds of cogs and springs coming from it too. Maybe the door itself is some kind of giant orbment? Either that, or there's something behind it making those sounds. Exclamation! Uh, the mark on my chest. Reveal. Oh, do I have to click? I have to click. Dots. Well, what was that? There's something wrong, Reen. It's nothing. But it looks like we've done all we can here for now. We should head back up. I suppose you're right. Dots. The red door is sealed firmly shut. The hum and whir of mechanical sounds can be heard coming from it. I don't think there's much more we can do here for now. Let's go and report back. Return to the surface. Okay, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and end the episode here. And then when we come back, we will report in and uh, see if we can finish any tasks uh, for the evening. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So anyway, until then, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.